Hey guys, Adeshimal's book trying to, you know, justify the former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari's actions during his, his time as a Nigerian president. Clark, Edwin Clark, not Buhari, says, your eight-year rule, your eight your eight year rule in Nigeria is unjust, filled with bigotry, nepotism, and the rest. The former Federal Commissioner for Information and South South leader, Chief Edwin Clark, has taken a swipe at the immediate past president, Muhammad Buhari, saying his eight years rule was biased, unjust, nepotic uncivic and filled with religious bigotry. In a statement on Thursday, Clark was reacting to remarks by the former president in Abuja at a public presentation on Tuesday of a book titled Working with Buhari, Reflections of a Special Advisor, Media and Publicity, 2015-2023, to written by Femi Additional, and another book titled Muhammad Buhari and the Nigerian Legacy, Volume 1 to 5, was launched alongside Additional's book. According to the EDA statement, what struck him most during the presentation was the attitude and statement of the former president, Muhammad Buhari, who eulogized his achievements as president of the country during the occasion, adding that what he said was contrary to the assessment of the majority of Nigerians of his administration. The South-South leader, who disagreed sharply with Buhari, said that to most Nigerians like him, he failed abysmally as president, but as he stressed that his administration was full of insecurity, economic collapse, injustice, religious bigotry, and lack of direction. Edwin Clark said that the eight years of the administration plunged Nigeria and Nigerians, the five decades backward, even as his successor, President Bola Tinubu, noted as much in his speech at a time, occasion, where uh, Buhari was elegizing himself. Clark said, I watched the public presentation of a book titled Working with Buhari, Reflection of a Special Advisor, Media and Public City, 2015 to 2023, written in five volumes by Femi Additional and other chronically activities or achievements of Muhammad Buhari during the eight years of the administration as president and commander-in-chief of the country as contained in about 80 pages of the 488-page book. What struck me most is the attitude and the statement of the former president, Muhammad Buhari, who elogized his achievements as president of the country during the occasion. This, I must say, is contrary to the assessment of majority of Nigerians of his administration. To most of us as Nigerians, Muhammad Buhari failed abysmally as president. His administration was full of insecurity, economic collapse, injustice, religious bigotry, and lack of direction. The eight years of the eight the eight years of the of his administration plunged Nigeria and Nigerians five decades back. Even his successor, the current president, Bola Tinubu, noted as much in his speech at a time occasion when Buhari was elegizing himself. For me, this was not be the this would not be the first uh, the, the the first time I will be making this observation in an almost twelve page forward message. I want to existing as president of the country, 28 May 2023, I said as much and I wish to reproduce some parts 
of the said open letter, May 29, 2023. The South South, who Flash book, uh, who flash, who flashbacked to the farewell to the Buhari when he was leaving, left, left with unfulfilled promises, neglect, and marginalization of majority of Nigeria. The other statesman reproduced the speech thus, Mr. President, as your administration winds up on 29th May, 2023, a retrospective uh, reunification of the government activities in the last eight years. Vice versa, our interactions with the president, the, the vice president, Professor Yemi Osimbajo, okay, of the administration, the promises made, the this positions and actions of the administration to the people of Nigeria lays out sad and irritating realities of worrisome in inconsistencies, discrimination, marginalization, and neglect. The truth is President Muhammad Buhari is leaving the nation, especially the Niger Delta region, worse than he met it. He is bequeathing Bucket of unfaithful promises, divided nation, and mirrors of critical federal infrastructure projects in shameful states, especially roads, and particularly in the Niger Delta region. In addition to the debilitating state of insecurity in most parts of the country being perpetrated by the menacing killer headers, the Boko Haram, and the swap terrorists. He knows bandits, kidnappers, and sundry criminal to the extent that a vast majority of uh, citizens, particularly the youth, are crippled by feelings of annihilation, fear, and desperation due to lack of adequate protection by the government, resulting to the now common Jakba syndrome, where leaving the country has become the aspiration of most active Nigerians. I am 96 years old now, and I have been actively involved by the grace of God in the affairs of Nigeria and the Niger Delta region for over 70 years. I have seen it all. The outgoing president, Muhammad Buhari, declared in his inaugural speech on May 29, 2015, and I took liberty to cite, having just a few minutes ago sworn on the holy book, I intended to look my hope, to keep my hope, and same as president to all Nigerians. I belong to everybody. I belong to nobody. In the past eight years, President Muhammad Buhari has demonstrated in most cases that he did not belong to the whole country, but to a group, this tribe and religion, which is contrary to what he said in his inaugural speech, that belongs to everybody. For instance, they appointed 14 out of 16 security chiefs from one section of the country. So, the declaration of that he belongs to everybody and nobody, was it a sham? I make bold to say that the reverse has been the case. He belongs to some people, but not the entire Nigeria. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below.